today is July 9th, I think, of 22. This is my latest little zone pushing project area. We're here on the west side of my pole barn against this big metal wall that gets sun all afternoon. And the goal here is this is an easy area to protect because there's already a wall on that back side. I just got to box in these other three sides during the winter time to keep these things dry. I'm more concerned with moisture than I am with temperature. Anyway, Washingtonia Robusta purchased from Home Depot and she is about 32, maybe 33. Nice orange trunk there. This is my seed seed grown Phoenix Canariensis. This thing is a freight train. It just moves. It is a mover. It's two years old. I started this seed in 2020. This is the only seed to germinate. It is 19 inches tall or so. I'm amazed at how quickly this thing has grown. Looks good. Anyway, over here we've got another Home Depot Robusta, Robusta-ish. It's also about 32. So these are all palms that can handle some drought. I know they appreciate water, but this is supposed to be a low maintenance area, more arid, more dry. I'm not gonna fuss over this area as much as I do the tropical jungle. So I was thinking about moving all my desert plants, all the danger garden stuff over here. I may do that still yet, but I may not because uh, if these things make it and get very big, they're gonna shade out a lot of this area. So up here against the pole barn would be a great place to grow some cactus, but I'm just concerned that in a matter of a couple years, there might be too much shade for the cactus. We'll see. That's how they look today. And I'm looking forward to doing an update here, hopefully in a year, two years, three years. See how much this area has grown. I think these are good choices for zone pushing also because they grow quick. And even though they'll probably take damage in the winter, I think they have the potential to grow out of it nice and good over the course of the summer. That is all for today. Bye.